Welcome back guys and girls to the Automation AI Car Generator Championships and in today's episode, now we've generated all of our entries for this current competition, we will be taking them for a test drive around East Coast USA, not really pushing them too hard, just getting a feel for what we have to expect when we take them out on track. So hopefully it will be quite interesting to see the differences between these cars and whether they're actually any good or not because the generator may be good for generating them for automation use but who knows how they come out in BMNG. So let's have a little look and find out. So we've handily named our vehicles so we can see exactly what order we're doing and where we are. So here are our six entries ready to rock. Okay so this has a manual gearbox so I fiddle with my knob and give it a clutch and now we drive authentically just remember to turn off the clutch assistant no cheating on this channel so we're here at the sawmill and uh, I'm going to go out and take it for a cruise just going to feel it in and see how we get on these old cars don't handle good. We can just uh, poop around town and enjoy the sights. That's the point of this section of the competition, is just how it is generally. What it's intended for really. Although these are all sports, sporty demographics, so they are intended to go fast, but they're also intended to be nice to drive, I guess, in their own way. And I'm very interested to find out whether the conversion of the best kind of tyre choices like sizes and stuff in automation are also good in BMNG because what's good for one might not necessarily be good for the other since they weren't designed together. They, they collaborated a lot later than uh, when they first begun designing the, the actual architecture of the game. So it'd be interesting to see whether uh, things actually make sense like in translation from automation to BMNG although I have been exporting cars like a lot since <laughs> they've released the exporter it's uh, the AI car generator that I'm interested to see you know is it intelligent can it can it make good cars for BMNG also and how well do the two games talk together. So it will be interesting to learn over this series, I'm hoping. So the other cars you're seeing on the road are the other competitors in the competition. In random colours, as you can see from this pink one. So I think that's the muscle car in front of us. The Brunter change down there. I only have 75 horsepower in this car. This is the uh, from budget obviously so it's not oh sorry premium budget so it's not necessarily going to be particularly fast. So let's try and get some speed out of her now and just uh, invoke the wrath of the police <laughs> if there was some. Can have police with the traffic tool mod, but I'm not going to bother for this. That's a lot faster than 60, it's so scary. The wheel is doing things that normal sports cars don't do. Seeing as this is very old technology in terms of suspension and tyres. Oh, and a very low rev limiter as well, that caught me out. Why I expected it to rev higher, really. It's top gear, fourth. Seems to be a fair gear ratio. This is more of an overdrive. Yeah, that means we're basically at our top speed, roughly. <laughs> Unless we can keep momentum going down some hills, we might reach 70. Oh. This is already feeling really sketchy. Obviously prefer to be in a fixed camera, which I might do. It's this 
uh, orbit camera has uh, it's disconnected from the, the direction that the car is pointing, which is a big difference between a uh, in cam or bonnet cam view in cam in car. I mean, sorry, that's a big difference. It's uh, you need to be fixed and be looking exactly where the car is looking as if you're sat in the car. Let's adjust these brakes. Oh my god, they're so bad. Oh, we didn't die. I definitely had to stomp on them there. So yeah, let's do the um, this highway loop for a little bit and try and hold some speed and not die. There's that rev limiter again. So yeah, premium budget isn't essentially a very sporty category, so I'm guessing maybe they're only just about worthy of having them. But premium cars can have premium uh, engines, so being 40 is not meant there isn't much difference in the bodies they're all pretty terrible and heavy and you know just not really suitable for sport stuff even though they, they sure well used them let's see if we can get up oh we're doing 78 there let's see how it does over the bumpy bridge yeah no problem soaks it up big tires on this absolutely huge tire walls because they only have only has 12 inch rims Meaning the brakes are tiny. Let's do a brake test. Uh, we're still doing 60, 40, 20, 10. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if something had pulled out in front of us? There would have been no way. It's just game over. That's why you shouldn't speed in a car made in the 40s. Or at least one made by automation. Very disappointing shift third to fourth. It's an efficient one, but it's not efficient for speed. Efficient for economy. Oh, 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 oh. Get fast for a second there. <laughs> Blow the old girl up. I was thinking about darting right then. No, there's no way we can stop for that. Try and abuse these brakes a little bit and see if we can push them into brake fade. I think it will have a bit of brake fade, judging by how small they are. Oh, no way! Wow, that is shocking brake performance. That was as hard as I could push on the brakes then, because it's the load cell. damage that gave us. Oh, I have to hold it down now rather than toggle it. Oh, that's handy. That's a new feature. Before you press one and then you had to press, that's on the number pad, and then you had to press seven to go back to the front. Now you just hold it and it goes back when you release. That's cool. So now it's effectively a look back button, proper one. As it, as it should be sort of thing. Well, the, the way that other games would have it. More established games, I should say. Right, so I think it's time to put this thing in the dirt. So, tally ho! Bump it. Okay, behaved a little strangely. I think it might have moved forward on the throttle whilst it was still. It might have been the hill. Strange to me. Okay, this is really hard without a fixed camera. So let's fix the camera. Okay, that's better. Ah, a nice, softly powered engine so you can keep your foot down all the time. Not like the V8s I've been making recently in my light campaign playthrough. These things are really hard to get the throttle position right because you just spin those wheels like crazy with the big V8s, or even the moderate V8s to be honest. That was, that's pretty well, handled that pretty good. Oh, this camera view is so much better. 
Obviously, I'd rather an in-car camera view, but there's no interior and the windows are not see-through in the automation cars that you export. Shame, but you can understand why, because they'd have to work. Oh, it must be the same amount of work for the exterior, again, if not more, to do interiors as well. That would fit the more cars. That would be an insane task. So, let's find another off-road route, I think. Is that handled pretty good on the, on the dirt? Oh, there was one. It's uh, be helpful if I had my navigator up. Let's just go for this one. Bit of a handbrake. 180. Oh, that wasn't too badly timed. The camera's a bit wonky. What are you doing? Oh, get out of the way before you get smacked into. Oh, I remember this route. This is tight. I think that oh, it's pretty slow, but that makes it handle well because you're not constantly fighting wheel spin, and it does does pick up okay for this for this age. I'm sure we'll see in comparison what kind of uh, speeds we can expect from cars of this age. And uh, it'd be interesting to see that one because that one got really good scores and it got really good uh, quarter mile and not to 60 times, or not, not to 62 I should say. I'm going to say 0 to 100 and it would mean kilometres an hour, which is not to 62 miles an hour. But it's uh, 0 to 100 on automation, that's the only reason I would say it like that. I am a miles an hour guy. So one more dirt track I think and then we'll go to the next entry. Handles great. Woo. A little bit wonky. And let's go for a big crash, I think. Nice and high speed. Is it going to be here? High speed, yeah. 60 miles an hour. Wallet. And there it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was having a lot of fun there. That was a great, uh, great little drive. Okay, so this is the next entry, the McCall. It's a fun premium car. Again, only has 77 horsepower. Two more than the previous entry. It's a little inline four. And uh, yes, manual gearbox as well. And we shall see how this compares. So, premium budget, and now this is fun premium. So what would I expect to feel indifferent? So premium budget, I would imagine it would be a car that's pretty basic, but it looks the pup. So really not anything special. But with fun premium, I would expect a car that was designed to uh, to make the driver happy driving it, because it's fun, and also to have lots of nice luxury parts. So an expensive fun car. So something like a Fiat above. Um, Fiat 500 a bath like one of the new ones. I would say that's a fun premium car as well as a city premium car. So let's have a little cruise around with uh, uh, with the orbit camera for a moment. Just have a little look. So this thing revs a lot higher so I think it would be a smaller engine. I think the previous one was a straight six and this is a, uh, a smaller straight four. So yeah, it's feeling pretty nice. Definitely feels lighter. And uh, without doubt, it's uh, gonna be just as slow. Although it may be a little bit more peppy because of the weight reduction and the, uh, well the weight difference I should say, and the extra RPM. Although it, it makes 77 horsepower at the high RPM, so two horsepower difference sort of thing. Let's find out. And 
across the bumpy bridge, okay? There's another one. Oh, there's the limit. Just about. Okay, so yeah, it's probably slightly faster in a straight line. But where I think this will really shine over the other one will be its ability to uh, handle corners much easier. I've got keep mixing that bit up with the next bit. This that bit's full speed all the way through. But the next bit you have to brake for the sharp left. So it goes right, then left, and over the crest. But you have to brake on the crest. Oh, brake a lot earlier in a car like this. He likes to go the wrong way, that one. Much longer first gear. Thought I'd chuck it in there and see how it reacted. There we go. Yeah, very long first gear. Sort of getting used to how it reacts. And uh, getting used to changing gear properly. Never gone this way. Well, I probably have, but not from that direction. Never turned there. It's amazing how long some of these maps have been out, and I still haven't explored them properly. And I've made story campaigns on this map. <laughs> A story campaign, I should say. I would like to have finished that. Too buggy. Ooh, I fancy that route there. Oh, that was poorly executed. It's going to restart. Excuse me. Oh, the, don't, don't. All oh right. Excuse me, Land Rover driver. Mister, I have a big V8. Mine's double the size of yours. Probably more, actually. Yeah, better dirt track in. Always good fun. Remember what you're driving. No navigator up, so I'm not sure where the corners are. Pulled out in front of someone. Oh, I'm sure I've gone for that. Yeah, or made it. Wrong gear. Get away from the police, wouldn't it? Well, they might just follow you, but I'll take them off guard, that's for sure. And that's the wrong button. We spotted a path here. Oh, this looks like death. <laughs> Camera swap. Gearbox isn't very good setup for this engine. Goodness me! <laughs> All over the place there. No idea where the corners are. Mm -hmm. 
route that is. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Another one. Oh my goodness, tank slapped straight into that. Oh dear. Ah. Well, yep. He's toast. Okay, time for the big boy. The Brunter muscle car. Yep. This thing is the big daddy. Okay, so. Let's very carefully. <laughs> this is intimidating because of the amount of wheel spin it warned me about in big red flashing lights. So we'll take it easy to start with with this and just build into it. So the last two cars really didn't have much power between them. With this. more peppy oh, 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 and handles like a brick yeah yes yeah, so this is definitely going to be an adjustment from the previous entries yeah, it's okay doesn't handle too badly not as bad as some of my muscle cars do Engine tone is so so deep and satisfying. Oh yeah, four four gears. Okay, yeah, this really is tuned to be a fast car, no overdrive gear. 87 mile an hour top speed. It could go faster than 87 miles an hour. And you can do 30 miles an hour in third. Or 40 miles an hour in third. It will still pick up. Oh boy, this is fun. Now, I never do a right here. In fact, no, 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 no. We're going to do a left here so we can go around the highway. Just going right there doesn't take you on a continuous highway loop where this does. Big old wall up there. That was uh, out of control. Let's put it in fourth and see if it'll pick up from 30. Oh, almost. Picks up from 50. long to get to top speed. Just a shame it caps out there. That's it. Okay, well, might have an effect on your times, Mr. Bronto. Is it Bronto? Bronto? Oh, I can't remember what I call it now. Bronto, I think. It's to be expected, it is a muscle car. Muscle cars are not known for their cornering abilities. They're known for their... Oh, I could take this to the drag strip and embarrass people. And I just got it from a showroom. Oh, four, four gears. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how it handles in the dirt. all these cars so far have had manual transmissions because automatic transmissions in the 40s consist of two gears only. Oh, can't get used to that. That's a strange setup. I guess that's just what the market wanted at the time. 
goes in the dirt. Probably like that all the time. Sideways. Now this thing is very heavy. So this car is not doing so as well in the dirt as the previous two. Or well, it would if there was a skilled driver behind it. Or if I was actually sat in the car, I'd be able to feel more what's going on. Although the force feedback in BMG is pretty damn sweet now. Oh, oh. As you can see, oh, just dampen it. Getting every little bump through the wheel. It's very nice. If you can get hold of a force feedback wheel, I would highly recommend one for BMNG. Oh, I thought that was a crossroads. Let's get back to your happy place. The tarmac. J-beam stretching there. Never mind. It's to be expected with these automation cars. Still makes for a cool crash, even if it does kind of do that. Oh. Okay, so our next entry, the Brisk, which is our fun budget car. Let's get it out of the shade. It's uh, hopefully going to be an interesting one. This uh, has enormous wheels. And a tiny body. And a very little power. Although this is a fun budget car, so it could quite easily be related to the classic Mini. Yeah, and the brakes are not too bad. Hope not for a car this small. That's quite an orderly drive. Chassis feels very flexible and horrid, but they all did back then, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's slow. But yeah, 
Yes, very stable through the corners. So this is all about momentum, this one. As we gain lots more here, we have to lead it off for this junction. It was a bit early. Oh, wow, that, 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 oh, it wasn't for that guy. That really does handle well. Very low rev limiter though. It's probably about 4,400. It's a very small engine, so what to expect? I imagine this will be quite fun off road. Oh my goodness! Don't know which way we were going then. My goodness, it's so slow, but it really handles great, like really well. Uh, budget, so it can't have any fancy options, even though it scored better in Fun Premium. I don't need second gear at this speed. Yes, it's, it handles great. This would be so good on a racing track. Oh, come on. Oh, I nearly made that. I let off just because I thought we were slowing down enough. And then, yeah, we've completely toasted on wheel. Oh, I'm sorry. Really though? Really I guess. I just said it because it felt the right thing to do. So let's bomb it round the highway and see how it feels at high speed. So we can get it into fourth and keep it there. Should be possible for most of this lap. God that muscle car is so beefy. About fourth gear. Might get there eventually. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. That's why we have indicators. I didn't miss them out for you to do that. Oh. Such a low level rev limiter. <laughs> so hard to get used to. Come on, baby. I want to see you holding 70 at least. This should be full speed. Easy. Here we go. Downhill. Bring it on. Fourth gear, 77 miles an hour. Come on, it's downhill still, we're losing speed. Oh, there's so much air resistance, I'm sure. Can we do this at full speed? Yeah. Not one bit of lifting. Apart from <laughs> changing down gears. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? That was not a junction. Oh dear, <laughs> this will do well at the more bendier tracks, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Oh, I had to lift there, I got scared. Oh no! Oh, something. I hit a bump and it moved my steering and just didn't steer the way I just insinuated it to. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Come on, off you go. Okay, right. It's time to get dirty. find some kind of rural excursion. No dirt tracks around here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the devil and he shall appear. Don't turn left, don't turn left. Woo. Oh. 
it was a tease. It was another bit. Oh, I remember this. This is the back road on the very far edge of the map. Full power! Oh no! Yep. Oh, 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 oh. That's it, it's gone. Save it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> yes, sort of. <laughs> Did okay. There's big tyres on it. They must, they must make it handle different. Can't see whether better or worse. Probably better, better in some ways, but worse in other ways. I expect. It's a lot of spinning inertia. I think affects the handling slightly. Steep hill. Oh my goodness, this is for off roaders. It's okay. Wow, yeah, this is a bumpy one. I can't see. That's better. Bumpy for this car, that one, or for any of the cars in this challenge. Oh, that rev limiter hit very hard then. So the whole weight of the car. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, more dirt. late for that, but didn't get any damage, luckily. Just partial throttle trying to get a grip. Oh, there we go. Third gear. Come on, baby! Be brisk! Okay, so our next entry, the parade in jet black, and uh, this has a 2.8 litre 90 degree V8, so sounds pretty sweet. High revving and that decent rumble of the 90 degree, love it. Okay, so let's take it for a cruise. Never tried this body type before. It's not been around for very long, but uh, yeah, I haven't tried it yet until now. Oh, listen to that engine! So nice that that, that sound. All all V engines should be ninety degree. It just sounds so much better. are okay, not too bad. Pull away in second. Well, that wasn't pulling away, that was already moving, but still could roll in second. What does first gear top out at? Ah, oh, good, 46, not too high. It means you don't have to worry about wheel spin so much, so it should be pretty good around the track. Especially as it's a convertible, it should be lightweight as well. That handles nice. Yeah, it feels very planted. Which is surprising for a convertible. You'd expect a convertible to have um, wobbly chassis because there's no rigidity in the top. The roof gives an amazing amount of rigidity to the chassis, like a roll cage would. Okay, we're not going to rev out at 87 in this either, so there's a good chance on the long straights if it can get up to 87. Oh dear. Woo! Jeez, this thing is 
fun. It just feels like I'm connected to the road. It doesn't have so much waviness going on like the last car did. That was pretty unpredictable. Even though it was small and light, it did, did feel a little bit unpredictable at times. This is definitely more a sporty car. Being convertible sport, it ought to be, I guess. than that. Yeah, it's more like it. Oh, oh I didn't see him then. I was looking into the corner. It was just the right shade of pink to elude my vision. No, I'm not colour blind. Oh my goodness. Come on. This thing is going to be really fun on the tracks. What a great engine. For the 40s. It doesn't have a lot more power up top though. dynamic so cannot expect it to be very fast but we've gone around the track long enough now let's take a let's take a bit of a different route and see what she's like off-road because you would expect something of this body type to still be pretty good off-road especially with the size tires it has so let's find our next dirt track Such a nice engine. Really feels so smooth. Oh, it makes all the right noises. Road and to see if she squirms. Oh, there's so many cool routes on this map. Who needs a new map? This thing is brilliant. Oh, there's a dirt track. Oh, much longer going than I was up to. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so it doesn't have the suspension for this kind of ground, but it does have the grip. have the driver though. Oh yeah, that wheel is definitely sticking through that mud guard at the front. There we go. That's what I meant to do the, <laughs> the time before. Well, not quite that, but... Smash that throttle.
definitely tell it's set up for the road, not the dirt. Oh, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Something was twisted. Okay, so the final entry, number six, the Moonshine. The big V8 GT car. I imagine this would be similar to the Brunter. Brunter? Brunto? The muscle car. Entry three, I think. And uh, yeah, so expecting wheel spin. Oh, there's actually none then. Let's try from a standing start. Picks up speed fit fast though. It's not uh, it's not chugging away. So let's go for a cruise in the nice GT car. All the steering feels great. It was different from the rest of them. It was refined. hoping for. I was hoping the AI generator was, you know, it wasn't just giving you a start, it's actually making something half decent. I suppose it is in a way giving you a start to tune to how you want it, but the scores come out so well, there's not really much you need to tune really, unless it's personal preference stuff. But yeah, I'm, so far I'm very impressed with the uh, AI generator. some pace, see how it breaks and how it uh, corners. Feels okay there, feels like it won't be much uh, faster than that and be okay. Oh, oh yeah, four gears. Oh, that's even worse, 83 miles an hour. It's worse than the Brunter, 87 miles an hour. Brunto. Keep getting that name wrong, it'll be forever going wrong from now. Oh my goodness! Oh no way! Correct it. Yes, the transmissions have a nasty habit of coming out of the car on the automation export cars, as of recently. I'm pretty sure it's good that that happens, but it happens too easily, I think. to be a road there because they always seem to be wanting to turn turn down there. Ah, well, this isn't going to be that interesting on the... Oh my god! <laughs> Just as I say that. Oh, blimey. I say it wasn't, it's not going to be too interesting on the road because it tops out at 82, but then suddenly I was in this crazy situation yet. Yeah. Pretty fast for a car in 1946. Oh, there's a dead track. There's another one. good in the dirt either.
Yeah, it feels a bit more like a poser's car than anything. Yeah, it's probably very nice inside and comfortable, and it does have a big V8, but it's, you know, it's not handling very well. It's very heavy. Brakes are... not great. They're not gonna be. But yeah, pose a car, I mean, yeah, look at my fancy car, and then you actually take the person out for a drive, or let them drive it, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's alright. Looks nice, I like to be seen with it, but, and live with it day to day, but trying to race it, it's, well, GT is Gran Turismo, that doesn't mean race, that means tour, so it's just comfortable. So maybe GT shouldn't be in the competition either, really. Oh, hey ho, too late now. Okay, so that's all six entries. Test driven. Through their paces slightly. And uh, basically, yeah, just an introduction so I can get an idea of what each one's kind of about before I start pushing them on the track. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this episode. I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will be at Grand Valley Speedway and we should be really, really pushing everything we can out of them. So yeah, hope to see you then, and take it easy, guys and girls. Bye-bye.